Good afternoon. Um, welcome. Uh, my name is Maurice Whitlock with Amon Gerboff. I'm a product specialist and technical trainer. Um, today we'll be going over uh, easy file transfer from every intraoral scanner into our software. Uh, I want to cover the various ways um, and systems that, that we um, can import files from. Uh, we're, we're very open in our system. We, we, we can pull from different, different systems, different scanners, uh, other ExoCAD projects. So I will be adding um, ExoCAD projects to this to show you how to import those as well. So first, uh, we'll start off with some of the easier um, setups. So we'll go into the mine software. Um, normally, we would load our cases right here, but with, with certain systems, we can load project. And as you notice down here on the bottom left corner, you have uh, ExoCAD project, 3M True Definition, and the iTero. These are direct project files. Um, what's nice about these is it contains all of the information already, um, but I will show you uh, how to import individual STLs as well into the workflow. So the first one uh, was iTero, so we're just going to double click. And then as soon as I click that, it's going to ask where the files are. So when you're setting this up on your side, I would you see I have I have folders right here with the different systems. Um, and you're just going to open up that file, um, pick any case, and you see this in Itero case. So we double click that, and you'll notice, uh, well, this, this always comes on. So it's just, it's, this is a warning to make sure your database um, is complete and correct. So it's very important which, with whichever dentist you're working with that they put the right information in there. Uh, so when you import it, you'll notice all the data is already set up. So traditionally, we'll have to go through and mark these each, each everything we're doing, um, how's our occlusion, our information here. So the provider can also give you extra information that'll, that'll be transferred into our notes section. So then at this point, I would just drop down and select the technician, save the job, and then I'm going to slide this over here. We go directly into our mine software. And you'll notice the information is transferred over. I'll show you one thing that's really, uh, really nice about that file is if you look at the um, if you look at the file, you'll notice the mar the margin is marked. Um, let's see, let's get this set up. I'm going to clear that. I think I jumped ahead a little bit. Um, and then selected it for me. Let me let me let me pull that back in. Um, so the file contains what we call a PTS file, um, which is important. That contains the margin information and not just the upper and lower models. Um, on that screen, if you see there, you see the orange line right here. Um, that is the actual margin that is selected by the provider. You can change that if you want. Uh, if it looks correct, then there's no need to um, do anything. You can move forward. And right now, the antagonist is toggled off. So you see I can bring that right back on. And there's your imported scan. That's an iTero. It's a pretty easy step. When, when you can import the entire project, it's completely different than importing STL files. So STL files is a little more generic. It lets you basically, it doesn't matter where the information comes from. It's an STL. 
Um, you have to enter it in as a new case and it takes a little extra work. But when you're in, in importing a project, all of that information is populated as you, as you bring it in. So let's go and uh, let's grab a different one. Um, what do we have here? We'll, just, we'll do a 3M. We're bringing a 3M. So I go back to load. 3M true definition. So I go back to my desktop, and this is why I split these up. So you have these files separate depending on what you're importing. So I'm going to go into 3M file. You see it's STL and EXO. I'm going to go with the EXO because it contains all the data that I was talking about earlier. STL, but then it won't contain the information. Um, and it won't, it won't be populated. So let me grab. So you notice all the data is in here and typed in. I don't have to bring that in. Everything's standard and ready to go. So those are. It's really easy for uh, those particular cases um, bringing these in. I'm going to show you guys how to if you're only given the STL. So there's some other systems, for example, CareStream, that is purely uh, it's very open exports to STLs um, so you can take that data and import that in so on the care stream file there's an easy way to be able to um, identify which case you're doing for example uh, if you get a you get a doctor that exports um, certain case they can put the information here in the name that just helps you quickly identify what you're looking for. So for example, this one, sample, uh, A2, full contour crown. If I double click that, I have my mandibular STL and my antagonist, which is the maxillary on this particular case. It's number nine, it's A2, and it's full contour. What that allows me to do, because remember this project file does not, or this is not a project file, this is just two STLs that we're importing. So since, it, since that's the case, we actually have to um, enter this information. So we'll just do a default. Uh, we'll call it sample since that's what the file was. And then default. So this was crown number um, 19, I believe. So 19, full contour, we'll say it's multi-layer, color, A2, and we OK. Then we have to um, select at least one tooth as the antagonist. So this is the way for the computer to know, uh, it has to know what it's looking for. So if I tell it, there's an antagonist, it's going to look for the antagonist scan, and it's going to ask for that particular scan. And this will make sense here in a minute. So now we go here, two stone models in occlusion. Save it. And unlike our workflow, if we had a lab scanner, we're going to skip that and go straight to our mine software. So it looks like an error says unable to load the scan data. That's because it doesn't know where we're uh, getting it from. So at this screen, we go to desktop, we go to care stream files, and here's our sample. That's the case we created. So you notice right there in the top corner, it says low, lower jaw, load jaw scan. So I go to mandibular, double click. Now it says load upper jaw, which is the antagonist, double click. And now there's my file imported. Now, um, this is the same way, it's the same process, um, whether it, it really doesn't matter which system you're bringing it from. Um, for example, dental wings, let's bring a dental wings in. So we'll go new. Um, let me look at the file. 
So Gunter 14A3. Alright. So we'll open this up. Default. Fourteen anatomic crown. Whatever material you want to select, I think he said it was A3. Okay. We tell it it has an antagonist, so it knows what to look for. Two stone models, and this is self-explanatory. If it's only one you're looking for, you're going to select one stone model, but. We got two models. We save it. And we enter Sarah So this process is the exact same for any time you're importing that uh, STO. Even if, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be an intro scan, um, but we're using intro scans to show you guys. Uh, right here again, it says upper jaw, load upper jaw. Lower. Uh, I think that's listed different, but there's your scans. One more I'm going to show you to um, it's for any intro scans that is exported as um, uh, Exocad project, you can import that project in. So we're going to go load and this is the last one where we go straight to ExoCAD project. I go back to my desktop. See there's a project file instead of the STO. So if you notice when you have that project file and it's just a ex standard ExoCAD file, it imports all the information. It imports the scans that were taken, all the data is, is listed. So at that point, I can go right into Mind and my scans will be ready to go. So this will happen um, if you have a doctor who's scanning, using the intro scanner on models. Um, you would you would you would see this uh, scenario where you have the two models that are scanned with the scan with the intro scanner and the upper and lower models. Um, it's the same process. I just want to show you guys a different angle of uh, bringing these in. But um, generally, it's it's having the data. So if you if you know it's one of the systems that has um, our direct import, that'll directly import all the information. Um, it's, it's pretty easy, all that information transfers over, but it's still um, fairly easy as well to just import uh, direct STL files. <clears throat> Last but not least, we have Trios, and I have a couple files. Um, I have a couple handouts that you guys can download. They're right here. Um, this one is a little more uh, involved. Um, on both ends as far as establishing um, an account, a uh, three-shape communicate account um, that will activate our TRIOS inbox. Um, and we'll, but once that's done, I've sent the information, but once that is carried out, you will actually have uh, up here a TRIOS, a TRIOS, a dedicated TRIOS inbox button. Uh, you'll get a notification on the screen when a, when a scans come in from one of your customers and you can hit that button and it'll immediately uh, bring in a file similar to uh, these files here that I showed you when you when you do true depth. It's actually you don't even need to do that you're just selecting the case that's been uh, exported to you. So I'm going to open this up a little bit um, just to show you so for here, uh, in this file, it shows how to register yourself um, as a dental lab using through 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 Shape Communicate. So it's a partnership with your with Trio Stocks. So they on their end have some steps that they have to do, 
And then on the lab end, they also have steps where you establish yourself as a lab um, partnered with that provider. Uh, and then when, when the provider is taking those scans with the trios, they select um, your lab as the location to send it to and the files are transferred. Um, it's, it's, once you set it all up, it's very easy. Um, it's just a lot of, it's, it's just work on both sides. Um, but once it's once it's gone once it's done it works really smooth they export um, and you import using that button um, and it's pretty fast so